Blue healers are the result of British settlers crossing the Blue Merle and Australian Dingo breeds over a hundred years ago. They're fiercely loyal to their people and are great for families, as long as they have a way to release all their energy. As a Blue Healer owner, there are some things you must never do to ensure you help your dog reach their full potential. That's why in this video, we bring to you 5 things you must never do to your Blue Healer. But first, if you love our content, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel, because we constantly bring you useful info that will help you be a better pet owner. Let's get started. 1. Not giving them a job. Give your Blue Healer a job. It doesn't have to be related to farm work or herding, just give them something to do. Get them involved in organized sports such as running the agility course or competing in flying disc competitions, or have them take some obedience training. Note though that they have an independent streak and sometimes prefer to think for themselves. You have to be firm and consistent if you want them to listen, but don't forget to provide them with a lot of positive feedback. Blue healers are tough and will keep going even when they're injured so watch them carefully, and take care of their health. 2. Not correcting their biting and nipping behavior. Blue healers were bred to herd, but not just herd, they had to do it with force, when necessary, by biting and nipping. This instinct shows itself all the time, and they'll nip or bite anything that moves, including your cattle, children, cats, and even other dogs. Without proper socialization and training as a puppy, this behavior will still cause issues and can become dangerous, especially in the case of children. Your blue healer might want to keep a kid playing roughly in line by biting and nipping them, which can result in injuries. Socialize your blue healer with your kids properly and correct their biting and nipping behavior. 3. Not giving them enough exercise. Blue healers are extremely active with an inexhaustible amount of energy. A dog like this might chew up the walls if they don't get enough exercise and get bored. If you're thinking of a lazy dog who enjoys spending time on the couch, think twice. To keep a healer from being destructive, you need to make sure they have enough exercise. If they don't, they will chew on whatever they find, nip at people, and whine. Use plenty of games of fetch and long jogs to tire them out and curb their destructive instincts. A tired blue healer is a happy blue healer. 4. Leaving them alone for too long. Blue healers are friendly, outgoing dogs with loads of energy. It is not usually recommended to leave them alone for extended periods. They get lonely very quickly and can be easily bored, so if left for too long, they can experience separation anxiety. If you work a full-time job or are going to be away from them often, they are certainly not going to like that, and might become destructive. When you do have to leave them alone, try picking up some chew toys or other puzzles that can help keep them entertained and distracted. When you finally get home, make sure to take them out for long walks or any other suitable exercise, so they can use up some of their energy and have some fun. 5. Forgetting Vet Visits As previously said, Blue healers are tough and will keep going even when they're not supposed to, so ignoring or forgetting about vet visits can be a huge problem. Although they're generally healthy, they still have to deal with certain health issues, and keeping track of these issues will help you provide your blue healer with the best. What you feed them and how much of it you give to them also has a part to play when it comes to their health. Take them to the vet regularly and ask about their diet and nutrition, that way, You'll be aware of issues before it becomes dangerous, and help them stay with you longer. The bottom line is, you'll have to invest a lot of time and show a lot of patience to help your blue healer reach their full potential. But you'll definitely be rewarded by having an amazing, loyal, and energetic companion by your side. So, do you own a blue healer? What is your pup like? Please leave a comment below.